Hi, my name is Sammy, and today we're going to talk about how to choose a programming language as a professional engineer. So you're a new graduate, fresh out of college, and you make your way to your first job. You go to your manager, and your manager says, hey, we've been working on this project for 20 years, and we have 20 million lines of code written in Java. You stare off into the abyss as your dreams of representing a monoid in the category of endofunctors disappear out the window. You realize the sad reality that most of the time your programming language is chosen for you. You have to work well with other engineers as well as the products and systems that are already in place. The story doesn't end there though, because as a student or continuing professional, you want to learn the languages that you're most likely to encounter at work. If you're a grad student or a researcher, you're going to need to know Python. If you're a Chad front-end engineer, you're going to need to know JavaScript and nothing else. If you need to run high-performance computing jobs, then you'll most likely be working in C or C++. And if you work at a soulless enterprise dev job for 20 years until you hate yourself, you'll most likely be doing it in Java. Let's say you're in the rare position that you can decide what programming language to work in, either because you're starting your own company, or you're so high up that you can make your engineers rewrite 20,000 lines of code because it makes you look cool. While people like to talk a lot about languages that have incredible features, like languages that are purely functional, languages that have an incredible type system, or languages that have a beautiful and simple mathematical representation, in practice, what matters most is languages that have very strong community support. Although Haskell in itself is a great language, you have to ask yourself, do I want to write my own implementation of sklearn? Do I want to interact with the main API created by the software's developer? Or do I want to use a shitty third-party library that's open source and totally unsupported? And most importantly, do I want to write all this code myself, or can I just copy-paste it from Stack Overflow? My recommendation is to choose the language with the best library and community support for the domain that you want to work in, i.e., just do what everyone else is doing. If you do decide to go off on your own adventure, it helps to pick something that has good interoperability with other programming languages, like Clojure, TypeScript, and Scala. These give you the advantage of a modern or special programming language, while still letting you call the existing libraries. You can't copy and paste as much code from Stack Overflow, though. For simple, personal projects, I think the obvious choice is Python, but I write everything in Clojure because that's where my heart is. Closure runs on the JVM, so you get access to all of the libraries you know and love, but it's also a variant of Lisp, means that you get to write way too many parentheses. But more importantly, it means that the language is homoiconic, which means that you can represent code as data and data as code. This lets you write macros, or programs that operate on the program itself. It means that when you're writing Lisp programs, you can change the programming language of Lisp while you're writing it, which is something that's very hard to do in other languages. That's it, that's how I choose a programming language. If you take anything from this video, it should be that using a cool new language usually isn't worth the cost of rewriting everything yourself. Have fun and happy coding.